dealing with me. All right. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing working. Hey. Good morning out there. This is uh, Missionary Norman Ed Kerr. Protestant Christian Missionary. And we're broadcasting live on the internet. And uh, hopefully everything is going good. Uh, let's see. It looks like I'm broadcasting here. But I still don't hear anything on the radio. So let's see. Oh, I see what the problem is. All right, hold it. Let me click this little button here. All right, let's see. Everything should be working. And, uh, all right, let's see how that works. There we go. We can now hear it. And uh, it's broadcasting live on the radio. Internet radio station. But I am actually broadcasting real in real time. I'm hearing myself. Uh, Selma, my wife Selma, uh, she's not about. Okay, well, anyway, this is the old hey, hi there. This is the 0900 prayer request time. 0900, sorry, <laughs> 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, all right. I'm broadcasting here in Missouri. As you guys have been around here a little bit, you know it's right here. All right, Missouri. Broadcasting from our home, and which is the center of the universe. You didn't know that. So here's a weather update for you guys. I know you've been waiting all morning for this. Oh, there's my wife out there. All right, it's about 47 degrees Fahrenheit. 47? Nah, 40, 43. Sorry. Alright, so we got, uh, and you can see the leaves are still falling. It's really strange weather this year. Alright, I'm not sure why, but it's really warm, nice. You save money on the uh, uh, heating bill, so I'm not kicking. Alright, welcome. All right, let's try to get on. You might wonder what's going on here if it's your first go around here. This is the uh, 10 hundred hours or 10 a.m. Prayer request. Central Standard Time broadcasting from Missouri. My name is Missionary Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. I've been a Protestant missionary for 40 years. Believe only in this one book. Let me get it out here for you again. You guys know what I'm going to say if you've been here before. This book, the Protestant Christian Bible. This is the only in divinely inspired book from God to man. All right? And uh, this is it. There's no other. Okay? And then... Only the New Testament truths of Jesus, the Apostle and Evangelist, are the ruling guide for today's spiritually born-again Christians. Now look, everybody that says they're a Christian, evangelical Christian, they're just blowing smoke. They're just religionist. All right? When you talk to them, you'll find out that they belong to some little group that meets in a building with a cross on the top. Let me tell you something, that doesn't make anybody a Christian. And all these places, all these buildings with a cross on the top, the people that go there are good, morally good, decent, tax-paying, law-abiding citizens. But they're no more spiritually born again than a man in the moon. All right. So you might be saying, well, Missionary Norman, how can you say that? How do you know what dinner persons are? Da, 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 da. I've heard this for 40 years. The easiest way I can tell you to find out is to simply read their doctrine. That's all you got to do. 
read their doctrine. It makes no difference if it's Trinity Pentecostal, Lutheran, Baptist, Presbyterian, uh, Amish, Mennonite. It doesn't make it. Just read their doctrine. You hold the camera upside down? No. No, no. The camera is sideways, landscape. That's what I'm broadcasting on Periscope in. All right. Also, I am broadcasting live on our internet radio station. You can see mongnews.org. You can go there and click the internet link on your mini tower or your laptop. And you can listen to this broadcast on the internet radio. Go to mongnews.org, anywhere in the world. Now, there's uh, different browsers, as you know. Okay. Hey, hi there. But you can go to, go to mongnews, H-M-O-N-G, dot org, mongnews.org. And click on the radio link. Don't understand. Okay. We love you. <laughs> you that don't understand. All right. This is the 0900 prayer request. Because I'm from Russia. Okay. I'm from, uh, I'm from right here. Missouri. In the U.S. So, hello. <laughs> okay. I don't speak Russian. You don't speak English, all right? So, one day we'll communicate electronically. I'm sure the day is coming when I can speak and you're going to understand everything I'm saying. The technology is just going to keep on rolling. This is the 10 o'clock. What are you talking about? All right. I'm going to let you take a look at this. What do you think that says? What do you think that means? If you're an English speaker, that is. Alright. I'm going to let you think about that. What do you think that means? Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't have nothing to say, do you? Duh. God. God. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, guys. Look. It's about you talking to God. Praying. Hello. <laughs> when you pray to God, it's quite easy. You just say, hello, God. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not, you don't have to uh, <laughs> put sackcloth on and ashes on your head or, and, and fast and <laughs> you can just say, God, I want to talk to you. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> My name is Missionary Norman Etker. O E T K E R. You can Google my name. Norman Edgar. Let me see. I got some here. Hold it. Hold it, guys. I got a, I got a little chart. I got charts up to Yazoo here. I right, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Norman Edgar. O E T K E R. Google it. We got a couple of pages on Google. All right. This is. I am a Protestant Christian missionary. We believe. In the divine inspiration. Hello, Norman. Hey, who we got there? I'll show your room, please. All right. Uh, okay. I'm from, why do you decide to make such a broadcast? Scotland. Hey, Scotland. Hey, welcome. I'm a little bit, I'm a little ashamed of you, Scotland. All right, I just wanted to see the room. Hey, Scotland, why? Because you guys used to be on fire for God. Do you know you have some great history? Some of the real men of God came from Scotland. Before the Roman Catholics destroyed the faith. Before, I'm talking about Protestants, yeah. 
It was real, but you guys lost it. All right. Okay, look, I'm broadcasting live. Hello, missionary. Pray for wisdom for me. Thanks. James SC. Hey, James, where are you at, man? All right, I'm broadcasting live. I did Christian ethics. <laughs> you got it up here, but it means nothing if it's not here. All right, look, this is Sam Broadcaster Program. I'm broadcasting live on our internet radio station as I'm doing Periscope. You can go to Hmong News. I'm in Northwest Iowa. Wow, that's on another planet, isn't it? <laughs> How do you know it's not in my heart, Scotland? Well, I hope you can tell me it's in your heart. Okay, I hope you can. All right. Hey, look. Let's take a look outside. You want to see the weather? It's a fall day. That's a problem, I guess, with being online. Uh, no, because the heart speaks the truth. No, no, Jonathan. Is it Jonathan? Jonah. Jonah. No, Jonah. The uh, heart speaks clearly through words. As a matter of fact, it probably speaks a little bit clearer. Because you always can go back and say, this. he did write this. He did say that. Okay, so you'd be surprised. The heart, the mouth is a revealer of the heart. Okay, it's about 45 degrees Fahrenheit out there. All right, it's in Missouri, center of the U.S. And also, I'm broadcasting from my home, all right, which is the center of the universe. Did you guys know that? <laughs> It is. Everything revolves around us here, me and my wife, Selma. I'm 70, and she's 69. So we're, we're the big dog. We're the old dogs, too. <laughs> All right, look. It's about you guys praying. You're talking to God. Now, here's how it works. Here's how it works. Now, listen up. Okay, here's how it works. You say, God, in the name of Jesus, help me with my situation. Whatever your, sit your situation is. All right? Now, remember, though, Jesus taught his disciples. He said, when you pray to the Father in heaven, pray this way. Our Father, wart in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I'm 70. How old are you? And so when you pray, you're saying to the spiritual substance that man calls G-O-D, this powerful spiritual substance called God, who has no beginning, no end, who has created everything you see and know, including you, you're saying... When you pray, your will be done regarding my prayer request. It's not, oh God, I want, I need, I got this, I need this. It's lucky to be quite forward thinking. <laughs> well, that's debatable, isn't it? <laughs> You tip forward so far, you fall flat on your face. <laughs> God operates in infinity. <laughs> oh, well, we won't. We, uh, do you know why they made 11 foot poles? Equality laws. <laughs> do you know why they made 11 foot? foot long poles because some subjects you don't touch with a 10 foot pole that's why they got the 11 footer <laughs> alright come on guys it's prayer request you 
What's your prayer request? My name is Missionary Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. I've been one for 40 years. I believe only in the divine inspiration of the Protestant Christian Bible. If you got an open mind and heart, then you can talk about anything. Uh, the second one is in, uh, looks like Russian. Okay. This is the 0900 prayer request. What is your prayer request, Periscope listeners? Do you have a prayer request? That's what you're here for. It's not an open conversation about anything and everything else. Really, it's about this. What is your prayer request? What do you want God, the God of this Bible, to help you with in your life? That's all this is about. This periscope, this scope is about just that. All right? It's not about anything else, really. All right. I'm going to give you some stats. As of yesterday, we had 22,291 views. Russian. Hey, hi, Russia. We, as of yesterday, we've had 22,291 views. My request is for you. Well, thank you. Uh, and our hearts are at 238,692. All right? Again, our hearts... 238,692, All right. We've had a lot of people. You can see on this map behind me, all those white squares are people that have contacted this on Periscope. We've been on, I've been on every morning for a year, well, 11 months. 9 o'clock, and then we changed it to... 10 o'clock, uh, no, I'm, I'm an English speaker, all right, sorry, all right, and uh, so I don't want to use the translator because it's not, it's not good, all right, but you can go to our website, mongnews.org, and you can translate our page into Russian, but each article, I have inserted a link to translate that page in the 66 different languages within our website. So you, you, can, you have the opportunity to understand my heart, my wife's heart, because what's in our heart is what we write about. Not fantasy land, not wishful thinking, not some uh, worldly view of things, but actually what a spiritually born again person thinks. And that's who we are. We are spiritually born again. We are Protestant Christians that are spiritually born again. All right? Uh, try to say, no, I don't say uh, words I don't understand. Yeah, I learned that a long time ago. All right. <laughs> Sorry. This is the 1000 prayer request. All right. It's about you guys asking for prayer. It's not about me. It's about you. I have these headsets on because I'm broadcasting live on mongnews.org. That's H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S dot org. If you go there, you can go on your phone or tablet, laptop or mini tar, and click on the internet radio link there. You will go to our radio station named God's Spokesman. And you can listen. I will be on this morning... I'm on Periscope for about 45 minutes, and then I will get off Periscope, but I will continue to broadcast live on the internet radio station until 12 o'clock. That's a total of two hours. And now it is uh, about 1025, 
Central Standard Time. At 11, my wife Selma will come back on Periscope. Selma, my wife, is 69. She broadcasts on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday at 11 a.m. And I'm the beautiful half of this pair. <laughs> she just does. She stands. She stands. <laughs> ah, cutie. Uh, she said she's the beautiful <laughs> half of this pair. And she is. She's a fox, all right? Okay. Here we go, guys. Look, it's about you. Come on, what's your prayer request? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? You can't think of anything? Because you know you're not right with God. You guys know it. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out either, all right? You don't know what to say because you don't know God. All you know is about some religion or something, all right? I know that. I've been in this business 40 years. Five missionary tours into uh, Southeast Asia over the 40 years and seven years in Mexico. And all I've seen, for the most part, is religionists, Islamic religionists, Buddhist religionists, Roman Catholic religionists, Protestant Christian Evangelical Religionist, Amish Religionist, Mennonite Religionist, Lutheran Religionist. Religionist. It's meaningless. It doesn't do anything. You understand? These are decent, good, moral people headed to hell. Why? Because this book, the Protestant Christian Bible that everybody says they believe in, <laughs> it's just a joke. It's an absolute joke. They say they believe in it, but they don't even practice it. They write their own rules, their own regulation. They have their own denomination. And if you don't like what they say, hit the road, Jack, and don't come back no more, as Ray Charles says. Really, Google it. Google any of these guys. Protestant, Presbyterian, Episcopalian, Lutherans, uh, non-denominational, independent, Christian, whatever name they want to put up there. Trinity Pentecostal, Charismatic, the... the oh, ugh. It's just, it, it's all everywhere, all right? Don't believe them, folks. Don't believe them. I, I, I'm always baffled that when you talk to somebody about God who sent Jesus, who loves us, for some reason, humanity thinks they have to run to a building with a cross on the top and talk to someone in there. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't understand why. You understand, when you become spiritually born again, the Holy Spirit of God, when you meet God's requirements, will, coexist, will enter your human body and coexist with your spirit and renew your mind. Instantaneously, miraculously, you are transformed into a new creature in Christ. All things are passed away and everything becomes new. The renewing of your mind is fantastic. You are a changed, different person. And if that doesn't happen in your life, you're not saved. You're not a Christian. You're a religionist. And let me tell you, when you talk to a religionist, it makes no difference who they are. Roman, Catholic, Evangelical, Protestant, Islamic, Hindu. If you say to them, you're not a Christian man, I mean, outside from the Islamists and Hindus, <laughs> you say to them, especially in America, <laughs> They'll cut your head off. You think John the Baptist had it, had a corner on that? Man, they're here today. They'll cut your head off just like that. I'm talking about figuratively here. 
Alright, but uh, it's sad to say they will do it in the real world too. What a mess, huh? This book is the only one, it's the first religion of the world. It's only found in this book. Everybody else is just hoodooing you with their opinions and all this kind of stuff. Now look, if you want to become a Christian, do you know what you're going to do? You, not my interpretation, not what old Norman thinks, but you are going to read the New Testament. You're going to read these words and then you're going to say, do I believe? It's going to be on you. Not what I say. If you base bonjour, bonjour de France. Yes, Mr. France, I again. If you base your Christian experience on what I say, you'll fail. If you base your Christian experience on because of what I say or do, you'll fail every time. Don't listen to me. Don't listen, my American friend. Hey, hi there. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody. Read the New Testament. Read this. The New Testamental. Testament. Read that. And then you're going to think, mm, mm, yes, or no. Yes or no. It's on you. Yes or no. The New Testament. You. You decide. Not me. Not anyone else. It's between you, yourself, and you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Prayer request. You got a prayer request? Oh, are you asking God to help you to be a believer, to help you to believe? Remember, I'm broadcasting live on our internet radio station, mongnews.org. Hey, Selma. Yeah. Would you turn your computer on and turn on the radio? All right. All right, and remember, you're going to have to, uh, Selma, use the EDGE program too, okay? All right. Remember, you can go to our website and click the link, all right? Okay. All right, this is the prayer request. It's 1030 in the morning, and I'm broadcasting from Missouri, St. Charles, Missouri, right here. All right, this is the O nine hundred. I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock prayer request. I made a change. We're broadcasting on the internet radio station, same time I'm talking to you on broad, on uh, Periscope. All right? So, let's, again, let's take a look at the weather. I know you guys are just really excited about the weather. It's so drab and dreary out there. No sunshine. Yeah, so you can see the leaves are down on the ground, the gazebo is down, we took down our little swimming pool that Selma and I exercise in, it's a really drab and dreary out there, last of November, I'm still trying to recuperate from Thanksgiving dinner, woes me, and here I am. Holding this sign up for you. That it's you. That God. The creator of all. Sent Jesus. To save you. Alright. Just like he did me. When I was 28 years old. 40 years ago. Alright. Long time. Alright. Alright. I'm broadcasting here in Missouri, right here. 
And uh, I could talk about a lot of things, but it's, it's not about me. This is about a prayer request time. It's about you understanding that God wants you to pray and talk to Him. Really. That's why we're on the air. Only reason. There's no other reason. We're not selling anything. We don't want anything. We well, uh, I don't. We don't really don't need much of anything. I mean, we're we got we live a humble life here. All right, tell you the honest truth. All right, I am on Social Security. Selma's on Social Security. I get a little pension, and uh, Selma still works twenty hours a week. She's sixty-nine, but there's a lot of people working yet. All right, so be content with what you got. That's what the Word says. And that's what we try to be, all right? God's helped us, and uh, we're, on, we're on the, uh, we're, we've been to the top of our lives, and now we're going down the, going down the backside of the mountain. We're headed for that little thing where we, it's under the ground. It's about that wide. It's called that grave. That's where these old bodies are headed for. And they're slowly dying. Aches and pains. Twists and turns. But eventually we'll end in ground. If the Lord doesn't appear in the sky. Woo! If he does, those in Jesus are going to be caught up. Alright. So, but we had to... Pay the oh, overpriced funeral people. They, they are scavengers. Oh, oh terrible people. Oh, have no mercy. If they open the door for you at the funeral parlor, they want $50 for that. I'm dead. They're just... Uh. It's the 0900 or 10 o'clock prayer request. Maybe we ought to pray for the funeral people out there. <laughs> uh, then, well, they're, they're okay. They're really nice, but they're overpriced. That's all there is to it. All right. Here we go, folks. This is a prayer request. My name is Missionary Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. All right. This is it. The New Testament. This is the book you're going to have to read. The New Testament. Now let's take a look. All right. Selma, how you doing in there? Oh, it was really slow loading. I just now got it. Oh, okay. So now what? Uh, well, you, you went to our site, right? Just, no, just open up uh, Edge, yeah. type in our address at the address bar, okay? Got it? Um. Mung, mungnews.org. Go to our site and click the link, okay? That should get you there. All right. Guys, out here in Periscope land, I see my counter is at zero. But I know that that counter doesn't work here because uh, Saturday we had 819 views that morning. All right. And yesterday we had 80 views. Let's see. Yesterday, yeah, 80 views yesterday. So, as of yesterday, we've had 22,291 views, and on Periscope, that is, and then 238,692 hearts on Periscope, all right? So, uh, this counter here, because I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 Nook, and so, really, it's an Android system, but it's not a smartphone per se. But I've downloaded Skype into this, and this this one, Nook, sold out to Samsung. 
So Samson came out with this model that has a microphone. All right, before you couldn't, you could just read. And I've had both versions of the older Nook. And the reason I got Nook to begin with is it was the only reader, e-reader, that would log you on to the internet. And you could go to your library on Google and you could read your own free books from anywhere. Whatever you had in your library, you could read on the Nook. These other Kindle readers and all the rest of them, they were all tied into their own store. And that's the only books you could read. All right? You couldn't go to the internet or anything like that. And only the Nook did. Now, this Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 Nook that I'm using now, it's a 7-inch tablet. This thing, it rocks. I've been using it now for about a year, a little over a year. And we broadcast on Periscope. We use it as, we can use it as a telephone too. It, it's just phenomenal. Works and just keeps on running. So, 89 bucks is what it costs today. There's no contract. Uh, you go anywhere, you got internet service and you can broadcast. All right, you can go on the internet, go to your McDonald's restaurant, or anywhere else where they got free internet. All right. Plus, I, I have a Skype number so I can actually go on and use the and pay for it, but I don't like to do that because I'm chintzy. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. It's the old nine uh, ten hundred prayer request. It's about you praying. Asking God to help you, all right? So, Selma, what's it going on in there? Yes, Bill sounds loading. All right, uh, restart the page. Just hit the, you know, that little circle up there on the left? Yeah. Reload that page. Did it reload? Yeah. All right. Let's see what it's doing. All right. You should be seeing it, all right? Yeah. Um, Is it doing anything? Say, Alma? Yeah, I'm All right, hit that play button. See if you can hear me talking. Hey, hi there. Out there in Periscope land, this is Missionary Norman Edgar. This is a prayer request time, all right? I think, can you hear me now? Yeah. All right, great. Hey, look. Hey, hi. Hey, Kate. In the UK. Kate in the UK. Hey, you loving Jesus? Are you a lover of Jesus? Do you follow the Protestant Christian Bible? Do you believe in God? Do you believe that Jesus really existed? That he actually died on a tree across for you that you could be free of sin and death. Right on, sister. You got there's one good voice in the UK then. <laughs> now there's there's millions of spiritually born again people in the world. All right. You just don't hear about them. All you hear about is these shiksters that want your money or telling you're gonna get rich or something. Alright, look. I'm uh, broadcasting simultaneously on our internet radio station while I'm talking to you on Periscope. You can listen to our broadcast, Hmong News, H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S. You can do a tablet, smartphone, mini tower, laptop. You can go to our website, click the radio link, and you'll listen to me right now. Now look, my wife will come on Periscope in about 15 minutes. It'll be 11 o'clock. It is 10.30 in the morning, Tuesday morning here in our home. And this is our home right here, Missouri. All right. I'm going to sign off on Periscope, but I'll be continuing my internet radio broadcast till 12 o'clock. So I will be continuing for another hour and 15 minutes talking on the internet radio. So you can go to Mong News, 
H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S dot org, O-R-G. And you will see our radio link. Click it. The name God Spokesman. Click it. And you'll listen to me broadcasting right here. Let's take a look at the weather. Here. It's about 47 <coughs> degrees Fahrenheit. It's cloudy. It's overcast. It's gloomy. But I guess the UK, you're used to that kind of weather. Gloomy. I couldn't stand it. It's bad as being in Seattle, Washington, where it's so gloomy. Yeah. All right. Look, I got to go. I'm going off, but I'm going to continue talking on the internet radio station. My wife will log back in the Periscope in about 15 minutes. All right. Views of a missionary wife. Her name's Selma. I'm Missionary Norman Edgar. You can, if you so desire, you can go here, right there, and you can Google my name, and you'll see who we are. Take a look. See you guys tomorrow, 10 o'clock in the morning, Central Standard Time. Remember, Selma's coming on at 11.